Camille coming to you with a, another video. I just filmed this everyday makeup tutorial, my everyday makeup glam. I did use a few different products. All of these you can get from Ulta, the drugstore, um, or Sephora. Um, so this is just my simple, neutral um, look. When I wanna look dressed up, not really. So I hope you guys stay tuned for the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions down below and I hope you enjoy this video. Stay tuned. So I'm gonna start off by using the Hangover RX Primer. This is the Replenishing Face Primer. And I use it as a moisturizer. I already did go in with the um, uh, oil from Revolution. I can't seem to find it right now, but I did go in with the oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this face primer. And I have dry skin, so I do like to kind of like really have this product soak into my face. I already did my brows off camera. Um, nothing special. You guys know how to do your brows, so I'm um, just patting that primer in. So after my brows, typically I like to go in with my um, eyes. So I'm just gonna do a little neutral eye, nothing fancy. So I'm going with the Warrior by Juvia's Place palette. Um, this is like the infamous palette. Everybody has this neutral goldy palette. So I'm gonna just go in with the shade, what is that, Kano. And it's just a neutral color. Um, just put that all over my lid. And then I'm gonna take this brush. This is a Fluffy Eye Blender Brush by Elf. And I am going to go in with the Revolution palette. This is the Velvet Rose palette. Um, it has basically neutral colors. Um, and then I'm gonna use this orangey shade here and I'm gonna just blend that into the crease. So then I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 420. Um, this is what I think my shade is. I think I'm in between, um, 400 and 420 but I just got this shade uh, because I think this is like the only shade that they had. Um, you do want to shake this shade, this foundation. And I typically use like two to three pumps on this foundation. It does require um, a lot of foundation for a full coverage. So I'm just gonna do, start off with two pumps. I am a little bit uh, heavy handed. So that is two pumps, but I'm gonna go ahead and add another pump off camera. So then I just take my e.l.f. powder blush or brush and I just go over to make sure everything is blended in seamlessly. Then I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape concealer and this is in the shade deep i'm just gonna put that put a layer down um, on my eyes then i picked up the nyx can't stop won't stop concealer in the shade Golden. I thought it was in caramel, but it's in the shade golden. And I'm just going on top of that, um, this type of applicator I have. And I really do like this concealer. It doesn't crease that much. I'm just gonna put that on top. So I'm gonna take my, um, what is this, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and my Mario Badescu Spray. And I'm just gonna spritz it just a little bit. This is already damp, but I just use that to kind of provide more moisture. As it, again, I have the dry skin. So I'm just go down the nose. 
Mon mal capitaine. Now that it's blended out, I'm gonna just go in with some powder. I'm using my Fit Me um, powder. I just got this powder, so I don't know how it's gonna work. This is in the shade three. This is in shade medium deep. Um, and I mixed it with my Airspun powder. Um, and this is like the type of color and consistency I got. Um, the Fit Me powder is a little dark. So that's why I added the air spun to it. So I'm just gonna set my face with this and I'm using, I'm using my sponge. So then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. powder brush again and I'm just gonna blend everything out. So then I'm gonna take my NYX No Filter um, powder. This is a finishing powder in Deep Golden. Um, this reminds me of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Essentially the same thing, but it's cheaper. This is probably like no more than $10.99. The MAC Mineralized Skin Finish is about $36. So I just use this to kind of add more red into my skin and kind of like make everything just a little bit more flawless. So I'm gonna just add that. Well, then I'm going to take my Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade medium to dark. I'm going to use this dark shade here and I'm going to contour my face. I'm also taking this on my nose. I usually go on my chin. Take a little on my forehead. So then I take the powder brush and I just kind of just blend out those harsh lines again. Then I go in with my Eco Tools Full Blush Brush and I go in with my CoverGirl Queen Bronzer and Ebony and I just kind of further warm up my skin. So then I'm gonna take my LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in the shade Very Black. I'm just gonna go on my waterline with this. I'm gonna go in with my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Um, and I'm just gonna do a little small little wing, but I'm gonna do this off camera. So I do have this sleek um, bronze block palette in dark. And I'm just gonna use this red um, coral shade here. And I'm just going to use that as a blush. Then I'm going to go back into the Warrior palette and I'm going to use the shade um, Benin and Bakwa for a highlight. using these as a highlighter. Hopefully you guys can see that. So then I'm gonna take this Extra Super Lash by Rimmel and I'm just going to um, put, it, put the mascara on my eye. So I'm just gonna go in and just blend everything in. There's nothing on this brush. So then I'm gonna spray my face with the Mario Badescu. And again, I have dry skin, so this is perfect for me. So that is basically my like everyday look. I'm gonna go ahead and fix my hair and then I'm gonna be back to you guys. 
Then now that I have my hair in, I'm gonna go back in with the Revolution palette, the Velvet Rose, and I'm gonna take this like reddish brownish color here, and I'm gonna sponge that on the bottom of my waterline. So now that I kind of like fixed my hair up a little bit, I'm gonna go in and do my lips. I'm gonna use the MAC Chestnut Liner and I'm just lining my lips. And this pencil needs to be sharpened. I should have sharpened this, y'all. So then I'm gonna take the Morphe um, lip gloss. This is in the shade Flower Crown. It's like a nudie color. So then I'm gonna take the Too Faced Lip Injection in the shade Babe Alert. And it's like an orangey shade, but I like this one because it makes your lips plump. And with this, your lips will definitely feel bigger and it will tingle. So this is my finished look. Um, this is like my like go-to kind of like everyday glam, like when I want to do something when I'm going somewhere, but not really. Um, this type of look that I like to do. Um, so it's not that many steps, but it does require a lot of products. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to leave that down below. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.